Okay guys and welcome back again for another issue of stage 4 on build the Ecto-1. So we're doing the Ghostbusters Ecto-1. We haven't got separate mag magazines, we only have one magazine so this is how we're going to have to do it. So we're going to start it off a little bit differently. We want to make sure we've got our pieces there. In this issue we are going to be doing the wheel. So the left front wheel and tyre, I don't know if it matters with the DeLorean and the tyres are different with this one. I think they're the same, but you can see how much bigger they are compared to the DeLorean. We will do a comparison. Once we've done these issues, we will do a recap. Uh, we will do sort of like an update on everything that's going on with this build. So what we're going to do is we're going to get all the pieces out and then we're going to continue to build this X01. Okay, we are now back with all the pieces out. This is absolutely amazing. So here it says Firestone. I don't know if you can see it there. The lighting is quite bright because it's white. It says Firestone all embedded in there. Might be better that way around. So on the, the DeLorean, uh, we had Goodyear where um, we had those. This one isn't highlighted very well. It just says Deluxe Champion. This tiny little center cap is just so detailed. It's unbelievable. There you go. Um, this shiny hubcap is just absolutely superb. Look at that. So that is excellent. So what we're going to do, I don't even know if we will need to fast forward this, but what we'll do is we'll see how it goes. So we want to make sure that we've got all our pieces there. So we will need to go back to check all the pieces are there. So this magazine, you just go through and your parts are at the front. It says car part stage four, you can check. So 04A, which is the tire, left front tire, Lovely, we've got that 04B, which is the um, they call the hubcap. Then we have 04C. 04C is the tiny little center cap there, so we have that 04D. 04D is this piece, which they're calling the outer wheel, and it also has the valve, um, the uh, the valve as well. So the little valve where you fill it up uh, with air, just there, just so much detail. And then we have 04E which is the inner wheel, which will hold it all together, which is just here. And then CM screws, and we have a few CM screws in there, so we have four. So we might not use them all, but they always give us a spare, so they're good to us like that. Right, so the first thing we need to do is put 04D. 04D is going to be the one that's got the little valve just here. That should push into here. Probably won't even push by the looks of it. It's just literally going to fall into place. Um, I, I don't know why, but I try, I try to get it in how they show it on the picture. So we're copying how it goes. So that just pushes into there like that. Really easy, really simple to do. When you are flipping these over, make sure you've got a nice clean surface or put it on something that isn't going to mark the wheels uh, when you've got it round the other way. So, because you're probably going to have to flip it up round the other way. As you can see here, it's asking us to put in um, it doesn't, I don't even think it shows us putting this bit in. It's not really showing it in the magazine. It's saying put 04D in. It doesn't tell us to put this piece in. So this is the inner wheel. We need to put the inner wheel in to line it all up. That will just keep it in place. That just fits in lovely as well. And then we're going to fast forward. We're just going to put three screws in here. You don't want to see me doing that. It's going to just be boring. So I'm just going to put three screws in there and we'll be back in set. So guys, that is that piece now done. So that was in here. I'm just going to have to use the screwdriver. It's got a little bit of green paint on from a project that I was doing. Uh, CM screws three times. So just there, there, and there. Again, the magazine doesn't show us putting it in the circle piece in. You do need to put that in, so make sure you do that. Right, so once you've tightened that up nicely, that is feeling pretty good. So there we go. Uh, that's a lovely wheel there. Right, the only thing is, um, I feel like this is going to be a lot sturdier than when we did the DeLorean one with one bolt or one nut, uh, screw through there, should I say. I feel like we're going to get a nice big bolt because look at the size of that and look at the size of this. Even that is probably going to go into something and support it. So I don't think we're going to have trouble with wheels on this vehicle. At least we don't have to worry about them folding down. So um, it says here that stage four build is complete. I'm a bit upset because I really wanted to build some more and uh, it feels like this is all we're gonna get to do. That will just sit on there, but it doesn't want us to do that yet. It's just saying that that is complete like that. So, and then the center cap will go on here, but I guess we're just gonna have to store these pieces out of the way. So these are gonna have to go. Remember guys, keep these really safe don't just roll them around like that but that is it that's all we've got to do on this issue so if i put that center cap in there i'm not going to click it into place because i'm worried i'm never going to get it back out again 
Uh, I might just hold it up just so you can see. So this is it finished at that stage on stage four. So there you go. Oh, I told you it would fall out. <laughs> okay, guys, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like it, then give it a like. And again, I will see you on the next one. We will be building in the next video when we do um, the Ecto-1. We're going to be doing stage five, the gearbox. So can't wait to do that with you guys. Please like, share, and subscribe, and see you real soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.